Are you literally burning money by buying the big name golf brands? Are the big name golf brands in big trouble? Today, we're putting up the $550 Callaway driver versus the $330 Sub 70 849D. Let's get it. When you're buying a new club from one of the big name brands like Callaway or TaylorMade versus some of the smaller brands, the DTC brands like Ben Hogan or Sub 70, how much is a yard worth to you? A hundred? $200? What about customer service? What about being on hold for 26 minutes and 37 seconds just to fix a problem with your new $500 driver? Seems a little backwards nowadays, but oftentimes the more you pay, the less you're getting. And the less you pay from some of these smaller brands, the better customer service you're actually getting for buying their clubs. It would be like buying a $2 burger from McDonald's and expecting service like you were at Ruth Chris. All right, right now we're gonna test out inside the My Golf Spy Lab how well these up and coming new DTC brands like Sub 70 can compete with the big dogs like Callaway. We're gonna find out exactly how much a yard is worth and we're gonna break it down for all the swing speeds, low, mid, and high, and we're gonna tell you exactly which driver is best for you. We put out a poll with our readers and the number one concern by far is the fact that they cannot demo product or no wiggle test. The second biggest concern from our readers was technology. Can the smaller brands really keep up with the big R&D budgets like Callaway, Titleist, and TaylorMade? And then maybe the biggest unknown is just that, unknown. No pros playing the clubs, not enough reviews online, which is totally understandable. When you're gonna spend 350 to $500 on something, you wanna have confidence that that product is going to actually perform. So to answer some of these questions that all of our readers have, and I'm sure you do as well, we're gonna go test the Sub 70 849D right now to find out if they can answer it for you. Let's talk technology and how the two drivers compare. First, we're gonna cover the Sub 70 849D driver. As you can see, it's got the sleek all black design, the carbon fiber crown. It's a slightly higher MOI with a slight draw bias. So a little bit higher of a launch than the 849D Pro. Also, you have 20 grams of adjustable weight in the sole. All right, now let's talk the big dogs, the Callaway Rogue ST Max. What kind of technology is packed inside of here? To start with, it's the highest MOI head they have. It's also got the slight draw bias, just like the Sub 70 849D, but where they start to separate themselves with the R&D budget is really in the artificial intelligence design face that helps increase ball speed. Also, the jailbreak speed frame, which once again also helps support the ball speed jumps that we've seen. All right, side by side, we've looked at both these drivers. As you can see, Visually, they look very different, but from a technology standpoint, there's not that much different going on. So we wanted to look at our database of over 18,000 shots from our driver test this year and take a look at which one actually performed best and find out how much is a yard really worth to you. All right, just a quick reminder, not all golf clubs perform the same at different swing speeds. So that's why we break it down for you. But no matter how you break it down, Callaway definitively wins, both in distance and accuracy. Overall, Callaway Rogue ST Max was 1.5 yards longer and had an accuracy score of about three points higher. Now, let's break it down to the high swing speed golfers, 105 and above. Here is where it starts to separate itself just a little more. Callaway Rogue ST Max was 3.3 yards longer and almost five points higher score for accuracy. Now let's break it down to the mid swing speeds, 95 to 105. If that's you, listen up. The Callaway Rogue ST Max performed best at this swing speed category, carrying the ball 4.7 yards longer than the Sub 70. 
and having an accuracy score of almost three points higher. At the low swing speeds, that's the meat of the industry, 95 and below, Callaway Rogue ST Max and Sub-70, pretty close to a tie, 0.9 yards longer than the Sub-70, but it had an accuracy score of over three points higher. All right, once again, Callaway was the clear winner here and the better performing driver. We didn't expect much different, but the Sub-70 held its own at only 1.5 yards less. I mean, it comes down to this. How much is 1.5 yards worth to you? And oh yeah, Sub-70 has a 60-day return policy, no questions asked. And you know as well as I do, about six minutes in on the range, we're gonna know whether or not the driver is good enough for us or not. And if it's not, you can keep your money. So we thought we'd hop on eBay and double check the resale value for both the Sub-70 and the Callaway. So we're gonna do Sub-70 first. All right, so originally you could purchase the Sub-70 849D for 330. Now that we're looking on eBay, the lowest price that you can sell it for is about 275. Could get all the way up to 324 right now, but we're seeing that this is kind of a little bit of a different shaft combination. So that might be what's jacking the price up a little bit. Now let's check on the Callaway. Okay, so originally on Callaway's website, you'll see that the brand new Callaway Rogue ST Maxes are selling for 550. Now that's without customization. On eBay, looks to be holding its value. Now this one's brand new, so you can see that it's holding that 550 value. And when you click on this, you're able to customize exactly what shaft what loft, what flex, and the dexterity, obviously, for our left-handed people as well. But looking at our other results, it seems that the pre-owned are sinking a little bit, but not by much, only about $50. So what's it worth it to you? 1.5 yards, that's the difference. So basically you're paying $220 for a yard and a half. Is that worth it to you? All depends on how you wanna burn your money. Cut.